Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss how to maintain your cameras on your cars. It doesn't matter what type of car you have, but if it's a late model car, most likely it'll have a camera somewhere, and most likely there'll be a backup camera located in the back of your car. This is my Tesla Performance Model 3, and it, like all the cars, have cameras located in the rear. This camera is dirty. You may not see it in this particular video, but if you take a close look at the rest of the car, you can see it's full of grit and dirt because I've had it out and driven it around. In this video, I will give you my recommendation of how to maintain cameras on your car without scratching them. If you use my recommendation, it should keep your cameras clear and bright and be able to see through them without any issues. So this is a USB microscope. You can buy them off Amazon or just about anywhere. It's pretty low cost, but it gives you the ability to zoom right in and see things. Today, we're going to be using this to inspect the cameras to see just what type of contamination is on it because visually you look at it and say, ah, oh, it's not that dirty. Well, it may not be, but if you happen to rub it with your finger, you will micro scratch the heck out of the lens and all you'll end up with is a foggy camera. So let's have a look through the microscope size and see what this camera looks like close up. I have now mounted the microscope onto a stand where it's more stable and we can actually see because if you look at this, as I slowly adjust the focus, the depth of field of this microscope is very narrow. So take a look at that. When we looked at it with the original shot here, it looked dusty. But I want you to take a really close look to see exactly the size of grit and gravel on your camera. Now, anytime you have grit and gravel on a lens, if the lens is harder than the grit and gravel, the lens won't get scratched. But this grit and gravel is probably pretty hard because it's probably a combination of granite, which is very hard, and it will definitely scratch these lenses. So if I was to take my finger and just wipe it clean, yeah, the big stuff will come off, but what do you think all these super sharp pieces? Let me see if I can focus it a little bit more. What do you think these little sharp pieces will do to this camera lens? Yeah, you guessed it. It'll end up taking that and scratching it right across. Now at first you won't see these scratches on your cameras. It'll show up as maybe just a little hazy, but you won't quite tell because generally it's out of focus of these cameras being so close to the sensor. But overall what happens is these sensors will see it as a white fog or turning kind of a milky color. And once you scratch these cameras, then the only solution is to actually replace it. I'm gonna go through focus here now. We'll take a look. Let me back up nice and slow so you can see. And there's the guts of the camera. We're actually focused on the metal inside of the camera underneath where the lens is. And now I'm going to continue changing focus and pull it towards me. Oops, went a little too far here. There you go. And I want you to take a look at about the two o'clock position. And if you don't think this stuff is scratchy, look at the shape of that piece there shown here by the green arrow. That you don't think that that's going to scratch the lens? Well, it certainly will. Okay, so now you have a good idea what your cameras are fighting on a daily basis as you drive your car. So let's take a look at some of the other cameras around the Tesla here. So on my Tesla Model 3, this is called the repeater camera. Its field of view is to the back and side of the camera. It's part of the eight cameras that allow this car to drive itself. So let's take a look. Inside of this little escutcheon is a camera, very much like the backup camera. So let's take a look with the microscope now and see what type of contamination might be on this lens. 
As you can see from the side of the car, there is plenty of contamination where we've driven. Depends on exactly the angle, but I bet you we're going to find a bunch of contamination on this camera as well. So let's have a look. This is a close-up shot of the left repeater camera. As you can see, it certainly doesn't look like anything you've seen on the rear of the car. Mainly, it's kind of protected the way the wind comes around. Let me see if I can adjust this without too much wiggle. Go through the focus. And uh, as you can see, there is contamination in the form of gravel and rock and whatever else there. There looks like there's some sort of uh, sediment, maybe from the salt or whatever that I've been driving through. And of course, while this may be out of focus in its normal operation, this camera will get scratched if I rub my finger across it with those rocks that you can see here by the arrows. So let's uh, take a look at the side cameras on the car now. As you know, the Tesla has eight cameras used for driving itself. And I'm going to look at the B post camera. This is located high, so let's have a look at that now. So this is the left B post camera. It looks to the front and to the left of the car. As you can see, it's pretty darn clean. Now I'm, we're going to see essentially no contamination here at all. So these cameras look really well. They don't seem to get as contaminated as the rest, but if you go through some nasty mud and stuff and it does splash up on the side of the car, these cameras will also get affected. So I've got three cameras located in the middle of the top of the front window. These are glass on the outside and when you run the windshield wipers, they actually clean those. So we're not going to look at those today. So let's talk about my recommendation on how to clean these cameras. Let's set up again at the rear, which has the most contamination on it, and let's take a look exactly what we can do to try to clean these lenses without ever touching them. So this is the detergent I recommend that you put in a spray bottle and spray off the car. Using a product like this is good for dishes, obviously. The other good thing is, is you can spray your car with it and it's not going to affect paint or anything else. So this is what I use. I usually make a 50-50 mix in a spray bottle. So let's mix up some and see what it looks like. So this is what I use. It's just your average spray bottle. The spray bottle you want, though, is you want to make sure that the sprayer has plenty of power when you pull the trigger. The whole idea here is to blast those rocks and junk off the face of your cameras without actually touching it. So let's make a 50-50, 50% Dawn, 50% water, and let's just see what it does to that junk on those lenses. I'm going to go ahead and add a certain amount here of uh, Dawn. We'll put a bunch of Dawn in here and put 50% water with it, and we'll see what we got. As you can see, there's eh, quite a bit here. So let's uh, put some water in it now. Doing this in my wife's sink, which doesn't kill me. We'll put some water in it. And maybe it's a little more than 50%, but that's what we're going to go with. Okay, let's uh, go give this a whirl and see what it does to blow that junk off the cameras. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the bottle and I'll see if I can get in here and we'll blast this thing and see how it looks. Already? Well, here goes. So after a few blasts here, we can see in the microscope that all that contamination is now washed away. So now that the bulk of that contamination is gone, I'm going to take a brand new microfiber cloth here and just go over it lightly. You don't push hard. And what do we see? An absolutely clean camera. 
In fact, it's so clean, you can see my reflection in it here. As you can see, it's brand new looking. A couple of tiny little water spots, but they'll dry. But you've blown away all that nasty contamination that would normally scratch the lens of this camera. And these cameras will last a long, long time. So I hope this video helped you understand what these cameras are doing for you. They're watching out for you. In the case of the Tesla, it helps you drive down the road. And if it's not a Tesla and you've got cameras in your car, it'll help you see the curb, it'll help you see the back, and it'll keep your cameras clean and nice for as long as possible. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, and who wouldn't? They're awesome vehicles. The referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen will get you 1,000 miles of free supercharging or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging if you're outside of the North America continent. So if you liked my videos, I would appreciate you click the like and I would also appreciate it if you thought it would be cool to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.